Hey everyone, it's Mike here from iEvolution.ca, also known as Rory Piper. I'm uh, going to do a quick video here just to show you the process of creating a custom IPSW for uh, iOS 4 to be installed on an iPhone 3GS. Uh, so you're going to need uh, the new Ponage tool that was released today, Ponage Tool 4.0. Uh, you can get that from the iPhone Dev Team's blog. Uh, it's blog.iphone-dev.org. If you scroll down to the bottom of their latest post here, uh, there's an official BitTorrent link, and there's also some mirrors that other people are hosting it as well. So go get it there. Don't get it anywhere else. Um, if you want to get the uh, uh, oh, iOS 4 firmwares without going through iTunes, uh, head over to iEvolution.ca and go to the post iOS 4 officially released and we've got some links there to get um, all the, the newest iOS 4 firmwares. Uh, so let's minimize this and get started. Open up the Ponage tool and you get the copyright warning. Uh, this just lets you know that you are getting an official Ponage tool uh, don't pay for it anywhere, only get it from their blog or from someone you trust, I guess. <laughs> uh, so click OK. Uh, I'm going to select Expert Mode. It gives you more choice when you're building your firmware. And I'm going to be doing one for the iPhone 3GS. Um, this will do, also do iPhone 3G and iPod Touch 2G. Uh, there is specific circumstances uh, surrounding jailbreaking with Ponies Tool. Uh, for 3GS, you have to be already jailbroken on 3.1.3. Uh, it has to be older boot ROM. Uh, it cannot be jailbroken with Spirit. It has to be an older jailbreak like uh, Pony's Tool. So as long as all that is in place, then you'll be able to use this custom firmware. So we've got 3GS selected. I'll click the arrow. Now Pony's Tool is going to uh, browse for the latest uh, browse for the proper firmware that is compatible with this release. Uh, it has found uh, iPhone 3G and it should find iPhone 3GS. So 3GS is 2,1 and iPhone 3G is 1,2. So select the one you want and hit the blue arrow. Select General. This will take you through all these steps here. Uh, do we want to activate the phone? Uh, you'll want to activate the phone if you're not on an official carrier and don't have an official SIM. This basically does the hacktivation that uh, you've heard talk about. Uh, mine is on a legit carrier, so I'm not going to do that. And then you adjust the size of your partition uh, for your jailbreak stuff. And. Uh, I usually put mine at about a gig. I have the 32 gig version of the 3GS, so I've got lots of room. Um, for iPhone 3G, you can click this to enable the multitasking, home screen, home screen wallpaper, and the battery, sorry, battery percentage indicator. Uh, all that comes with the iPhone 3GS, so you don't have that option here. I'll click next. Uh, this gives you some custom packages to install, 5-icon dock, uh, OpenSSH, Winterboard, all this stuff comes with the Ponies tool now. Um, I have seen some issues with the po uh, with uh, Winterboard. Uh, when I installed it on my 3GS, it broke the task switcher. So hopefully that will be fixed in a, a later update. Um, if you want to add some more to this, you can download packages here. You just hit refresh and it will It'll fill this list with basically everything that's in Insidia. And then you can even add extra sources here as well. Um, I am just going to leave mine stock, but uh, as you can see, they have these options built in. You just check them if you want to add them. So we will click Next. And of course, you want to install Insidia. Click Next. Um, do you want these custom boot logos? 
I put the pone apple instead of the apple on the startup screen. And then uh, you can have Steve Jobs caricature as your iTunes recovery logo. I'm going to leave mine stock. Now you can also add your own images here if you just click browse and add your own. I'm going to go next. Once we've gone through all that, select build, hit the blue arrow, and we are going to build iPhone 2.1 underscore 4.0 underscore 8A293 underscore custom underscore uh, restore IPSW, and I'm just going to save that to the desktop. So this step here uh, can take a little while. Um, you will get a prompt to enter your administrator password as this is being built. And uh, we'll just uh, fast forward here a bit. Okay, so uh, Pony's tool has told us that uh, it is finished making the custom firmware for your iPhone 3GS. And it's telling us to close the Pony's tool application, put your iPhone 3GS in recovery mode, start iTunes, and restore the custom firmware. Okay, so to put your iPhone 3GS in recovery mode, make sure it is turned off. So press and hold the power button and then you'll see the red slider pop up on the top of your screen slide that over make sure that it's turned off completely as in the little spinner has stopped and the screen is completely black and with iTunes open just press and hold your home button and connect your power cord keep pressing that home button until you see it pop up in iTunes here you'll see the USB and the iTunes logo on your screen iTunes will say it's contacting the update server. I'll say, oh, it's discovered a iPhone in recovery mode. You must restore. Let's press OK on that. And then you want to press Option and click Restore. And on your desktop, you should have your custom IPSW. And you choose that. I'm not going to restore my phone at this point, but uh, the rest from here is the same as any restore in iTunes. So there you go. That's jailbreaking your iPhone 3GS on iOS 4 with Ponage Tool 4.0.